Howdy, I'm Georgia Goober. I'm Gracie Goober. And I'm Gabriella Goober. And we're here to tell you our story. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a rich farmer who brought his ladder to harvest his peanuts from the tallest trees you have ever seen. This is not a fairy tale. Just let me tell the story. Most folks not from the South believe peanuts grow on trees. We actually grow underground. We are more like a bean than a nut. We're really called legumes, and we even have tiny yellow flowers. The farmer plants his seed, and we grow and grow and grow for several months. Then we are ready to be harvested. Plows pulled by tractors pull us out of the ground to dry. And that's when I get to bask in the sun. Excuse me? I'm trying to tell our story. As I was saying, after we dry, we are picked and dumped into big trailers and hauled to the peanut warehouse. There's peanut dust and corn husk drifting through the air tonight. We would have all been peanut butter had it not been for our father, George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver overcame the barriers of his childhood to achieve world renown as a distinguished scientist, poet, painter, and teacher. Thank goodness for Father George. Well, only the purriest peanuts get chosen to help my beauty products like lipstick and shampoo. Well, I want to be some kind of peanut food, the most scrumptious, yummy peanut food ever. Mm -mm -mm. We're cholesterol-free and low in saturated fat. Incredibly, we are 26% protein. We are just bursting with nutrition. I just might be peanut butter pie, peanut brittle, roasted peanuts, boiled peanuts. Americans spend $800 million each year on just peanut butter alone. And did you know that 70 counties in Georgia alone produce 1.9 billion pounds of us every year? Wow, that's amazing. Peanut farmers contribute about $2 billion to Georgia's economy each year. So now you know the story of the Goober family. We are indeed Georgia's buried treasure. And by the way, we are the secret to making Mr. Ed become the famous talking horse. Hello, I'm Mr. Ed. A horse is a horse, of course.